Hello, Worth Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 4, the Thanksgiving special episode. Well, my, what makes this the Thanksgiving special episode, you may be asking? Well, because I'm posting this extra episode on Thanksgiving. Uh, other than that, uh, there's nothing special about it. <laughs> uh, other than the fact that I have already recorded this episode and had technical difficulties, and now I'm re-recording it. Uh, and so you'll see that we've already got 1,686 science. We gained 792 science from the last mission. And you can see that, yeah, we walked on the surface of Minimus, planted a flag. Uh, we <laughs> did all the brought, we brought a green sandstone back with us. We completed all the missions for Minimus that we had. Uh, but then, like I said, I had technical difficulties, and so, unfortunately, we're going to have to do it again on camera. Uh, we did take, uh, we took Nash and Sagan, and so they both got some good experience. And so this time, I think we'll be taking someone else. Let's see if there's any other uh, missions for Minmus I can do in re No, no, there's not. Okay, well, that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and do the same mission that I did before, only I won't be taking a satellite with me. Like I did last time, so I'm just going to open up the Minmus lander. I did make some changes to it from the moon lander so that we could uh, uh, utilize some of the less, the lower gravity of Minmus. And you can see this is the satellite I put in orbit of Minmus. Uh, but like I said, don't need that this time. I did put a probodobodon inside the moon lander here. I got it uh, inserted in here along with a battery. So that uh, we can use that. I got RCS on it to make it more uh, easy to do our um, our uh, re uh, re uh, ron what am I trying to say rendezvous between the lander and the command module. So this should be plenty, plenty of fuel to get us to Minmus and do all of our missions therewith. And so, let's take a look at our crew and see who we can take now to Minmus. We'll need a pilot that uh, wants to level up and has never been to Minmus. So, Valentina, uh, Billy Bob, Nash has already been to Minmus, so he won't, he's not, he's out of the running. We'll take Billy Bob, he's going to be the pilot, and then we either need an engineer or a scientist. Last time we took Sagan the scientist. Balder has no experience, so I think we'll take Balder, the scientist, and the, he will be... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and put him in the lander cam. There's no reason for him to be in the command module other than just for fun, but uh, I think that will be good. Not everybody will have some experience, and I think we are ready to uh, take these guys uh, up to Minmus. We will basically do the same things I did uh, in the last mission. mission. Um, and, uh, and then, uh, we will just bring them home again. We won't be getting all the science that we got. Although I can go to some different biomes than I went to last time. I went to the highlands and the greater flats and was able to get quite a bit of science. So maybe I'll try a different biome and, uh, that way we can get some different, some additional science. So here we go. We are ready to launch in three, two, one, launch. And so, like I did last time, but you don't know this, I'm going to basically, uh, we'll just fast forward through this launch here. Uh, I will uh, maybe do a little music or something. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to get you up into orbit and then I'll be right back. in orbit and now we have to set ourselves a uh, 
intersection with Minmus. He's almost set that as my target. We're going to zoom in so that we are at about the right position. No, I don't want to activate navigation. I want to add a maneuver. And we are going to see if we can get a nice intersection without changing our plane. Sometimes you can. If you get it just right, you can ch get, get an intersection without uh, changing your uh, plane there. So let's just see if I can do that. Just a, little, just a little off. So let's see if we can just change the position a little bit. Whoops. And see if we can maybe get it on there. There we go. Alright, got us a nice little intersection there. We just need to dial it in just a little bit so that we don't go here on the wrong side. You can see the satellite that we inserted from the last mission. So let's just see if we can dial this in just a little. I'd like to come in at 90 degrees if we can. That would make it a lot easier for our, our rendezvous between our two vessels. So let's see what we got here. That's pretty close. And we're going to go ahead and fly to that. And then we're going to make our burn. And then we'll be well on our way to Minmus. So I finally remembered to do, turn this little feature on where it shows when to start your burn. Um, I've been meaning to do that every single time I've played, but I keep forgetting. And so I finally remembered. So it, it's pretty handy. I don't have to do the, uh, the math in my head. I can just <laughs> do half before and half after like uh, I always do, but it tells me exactly when that is. So that's pretty handy, especially when you're bad at math like me. But we're going to go ahead and do the burn here. That should be no problem. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and switch to this, though. Focus on the Minbus because, uh, well... Sometimes burns can, can get pretty hairy when you're doing these inclination changes. And I just want to make sure that uh, Minmus has such a small sphere of influence, it's easy to miss. So I just want to make sure that I uh, get that done accurately and where I want it to be done. And then, um, yeah. Ah, missed it. Even though I was paying attention, still missed it. I'm just going to burn a little bit of retrograde just to see if we can get her back. Like I said, it's really easy to miss Minmus's sphere of influence. It's so small, especially if you don't change your inclination first. Which I did change my inclination a little bit, but uh, it's uh, still really easy to miss here. So let's just burn back a little bit. Let's see if we can get her back in there. There we go. Bring her back. I should have just stopped the burn before I did that and uh, there we go what's the periapsis at right there 136 that's good very good all right so let's go ahead and get ready to fly to here and um, we're gonna warp here all right and say goodbye to Kerbin and we're gonna say hello to Minbus for Balder and Billy Bob Billy Bob of course being the pilot Balder being the non-pilot, the, what is he called? Scientist, yes, that's it, scientist. Right, and he's already in his vessel, I believe. Yes, he is, and so um, that will be good. Like I said, I've already gotten the science and the orbit around Minmus and all of that other stuff from our other missions, but... Uh, man, that was that came up quick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into position to do our orbital insertion here. And then we can uh, begin our uh, descent to Minmus. There we go. I'm going to do our burn. Let's get into orbit. And bingo, bango. Be in good shape here. And let's get down pretty low. 25,000, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swing around to here. We're gonna burn down and then we're gonna find our place to land. We're in the lowlands now, that would be good. Midlands would be good. Let's go ahead and do another retrograde burn, get our apoapsis down and then we'll uh, 
See if we can land, like, somewhere where we've never landed before. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring her on down. Here's where my first landing was. Probodobodine Experiment Control Station. We're going to bring her in, bring her in, bring her in. And see if we can land somewhere. So we got the we got Highlands and Greater Flats. Let's see if we can get somewhere else. Ideally. Like Lowlands. Yeah, let's try the Lowlands. Alright. Let's just give her just a little bit of a bone. No, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We're going to go ahead and see if we can land here. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Actually, I meant to uh, detach this thing first, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and detach it. And then we'll bump up our orbit here. So I'm going to decouple that node. And then this guy is going to wait for him to get out of the way. There we go. And then we're going to burn so that we get back into a non-bad orbit here. Oh, hi. That's pretty close, guy. Do you want to uh, remove yourself? Let's just, yeah, just gently push him away there. Let's get up to about 10,000 or so. And 20,000 maybe. There we go. So now he's in a nice circular orbit. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can switch over to him. Yes, we can. Go ahead and de lower your landing legs. Is he still set to land in the lowlands? Yes, he is. But he's on the other side, other side of the greater flats with that little push he got from uh, from the engine. Man, that's that's awfully dark. Uh, maybe we should just give a little bump here. Got plenty of fuel. Maybe we should give her a little bump and see if we can uh, see if we can uh, can we activate this engine, please? For that. Okay, for the love of God, let's activate the engine. There we go. Ah! Stop! Stop, you son of a... <laughs> Minmus is so easy to get an orbit around. I mean, you can do it with your... Uh, your uh, RCS if you if you need to because it's so easy to get a to get a uh, an orbit let's just see if I can bump this up just a hair just get away from the greater flats there there we go all right so now I'm going to go about right here and we're gonna get ready to do our landing and Balder has the assistance of a nice uh, probodobanon to help him fly. Unlike the landing on the moon, where they had nothing. Just the skill of the scientists to fly, which is not great. So, a little bit of trouble there, but I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll be just fine. Alright. So I wonder how high we're going to be when we get right here. I hope we have enough height to, uh, to do what we need to do. I'm going to get ready to do this landing here. Okay, this is making me dizzy. <laughs> the way this looks here. Alright, so let's just go ahead and speed up time a little. 13... 56 is where I need to do my suicide burn. But we're not we're not gaining any speed really because we're going mostly horizontal. Alright, so just need to keep that in mind. I may need to do a little hop. This looks like we may end up going a little bit. Yeah. I think we I think we're still fine. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time just a little bit more. And we're going to make sure we get over into the lowlands before we do our burn because it, we're pretty much going to have to drop straight down. Okay. Still in greater flats, still in greater flats. Now we're in the lowlands. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill our horizontal velocity. Like I said, it's Minmus, so it shouldn't be too hard. And then we 
you can just drop down. We got a nice uh, slope here to land on, which is never fun. But I got four legs now, so I also made that improvement over the moon lander. Four legs instead of those three legs. So that's a lot better, actually. So we're just going to go ahead and land right here. Just go ahead and land right here. Almost all of our velocity is horizontal, so we're just going to have to go ahead and kill all of it so we can drop straight down. There we go. Now we're talking. So we'll go ahead and put uh, down here on the lowlands, and then we will uh, have to uh, find somewhere else to go for some additional sign. Oh, we don't have to go. We don't have to do two biomes, but it be, might be nice to do two biomes, right? I mean, uh, the other guy did Sagan, so Balder wants to do two biomes too. He wants two biomes. Hey, I might even be able to get another space rock. Like, looks like there might be some something around here. That'd be good. All right, let's just go ahead and slow her down. Slow her on down, Charlie. All right. She's coming down. It's drifting a little bit. Let's see if we can kill that horizontal burn there. There we go. There we go. Nice touchdown. Boom. Balder is down. We go ahead and do our EVA for Balder here. He's going to get the temperature. I guess I've already gotten the lowlands. Oh, interesting. I'll go ahead and make sure I got all of it. Mr. Goo. Keep that. I guess I better reset that and collect it. There we go. And... I need an EVA and surface sample. Yeah, I guess I did do the lowlands. Hmm, I don't remember that. That's okay. It's going down. Balder's going to let go. Pop back down. And he's going to plant the flag here. Boop. Maybe I did the lowlands in the last mission. I was thinking I did highlands, but it's not. Okay, well that's fine. This is the... Second Minmus landing in the lowlands. Balder was the second Kerbal on Minmus. Nobody cares about the second person on Minmus. They don't care about the first person. <laughs> Alright, so, but I'm going to go ahead and grab these experiments, set them up, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, so now I've got the state, the second little uh, science station here. We didn't get much in the way of science from here, so let's go ahead and pop on over to another bio uh, before we head back home, and then uh, see what we can get elsewhere here. A little bit of issue finding that. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. So we've got the why does that look like that and that looks like that? Oh, because I'm on top of it. Oh, and there's the command module. Let's see if we can fly over here, wherever that area is. Lowlands, maybe? I don't know what, I don't know what some of these, there's lots of biomes on Minmus. I'm not sure where they are. Let's, let's see if we can come down here, see if that's something. So it's gonna be a little bit uh, southeast of our current position. So let's go ahead and slowly take off and go south east let's see yeah southeast that way that's not right let's go this way there we go and let's see if I can just drag it that way just a little there we go that's where I want to be I don't know what that is but hopefully it's something different so let's go ahead and warp over here can't warp of course why not why would I be able to that's silly 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 boy silly boy all right let's go ahead and time warp then until we're 3,000 meters up there we go now I can go to the apoapsis and more. Alright. 
go into the Apoapsis. Hopefully this is something different besides Lowlands. Or Highlands, for that matter. Uh, it says Midlands is my impact biome, so that's exactly what I wanted, a different biome. Alright. Can we go ahead and warp a little bit? There we go. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. It says be easy. Let's be easy. Don't want to be, get too hasty now. Let's go ahead and put that back on surface. And find my retrograde marker. There it is. There we go. And let's see. Probably should start burning here pretty soon. Yeah, probably should. Let's go ahead and start burning here. I'm over the Midlands already, so can kill all of our horizontal velocity. That'll be good. Here we just drop straight down. There we go. Yes, I'm a coward. I don't do suicide burns well. That's okay. I don't want to risk our Kerbal's lives unnecessarily. Risk their lives enough as it is. Okay. We are coming down quick, but not too quick. Nothing we can't handle. Alright, here we go. There we go. Touchdown. Alright, come on out on your EVA. Let's grab all the science out of there. And we're going to log, log a temperature. Yes, nailed it. Okay, take that. Pressometer. Guess we're going to take the data first. Log it, take it. There we go. Mystery goo. Got it. Collect it. Yes, reset it. Yep. We're going to do an EVA report. Take that. And surface sample. Take that. We're going to go ahead and jump off and uh, plant another flag here so that we know that we went to the biome. Let's go ahead and plant the flag. Our Balder Midlands. Okay. Because I forgot to do one when I did the other thing, so that's that's fine. All right, just go ahead and jump on up there. Whoops, whoop, whoop, whoop. Get a little closer there. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and s um, go ahead and board. We're gonna do a crew report from here. I'll go ahead and send it, because it doesn't help me to save it there. Alright, so that's good. Uh, we got lots of Delta V still. Should I try one more biome, or should we just go ahead and go back up? I wish I could see what these biomes were. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's just go ahead and wait for the old, the old ship here. To fly back around, and then we'll uh, we'll go and rendezvous with it. Oh, what happened? Wow, that was unexpected. All right, well, good thing I quick saved it, I guess. All right, then we're gonna do our rendezvous with our command module and stop. Okay, here we go. We are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and do a 90 degree orbit. So I'm going to go ahead and take off. Go up to 90 degrees to about 20,000 I think is where that is. There we go. Let's see what the apple periapsis is at 20,000. Apoapsis is at 25,000. Okay. So we're going to go, it will be a little bit higher than I would like, but uh, not too bad. Now we'll need to make an adjustment here. So obviously that is not at 90 degrees, that's at something other than 90 degrees. Let's see if I can change it a little bit here. Do we need to go up? Nope, the wrong way. 
let's see if we can just adjust this thing here. I got plenty of fuel, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, look at that. I wonder if I can make that, make that work. Make that intersection work. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? Uh, well, it's not as close as I thought. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see if I can adjust this. Uh, okay, I won't be able to until I'm at the same node. So let's go ahead and warp up to the Apoapsis. Go by our prograde, get into an orbit, and then we'll be able to catch up to him next time. Okay, let's see. So let's go ahead and get into orbit here. Should be no problem. I want to be my Apoapsis wants to be lower than 20,000 so that we can catch up with him. So let's go about 13,000, that'd be good. Alright, so here at our ascending node, I can add a maneuver and we can get this straightened out. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Something like that. Let's see if I can get my orbits arranged here. What would the Apple Apps be at? 127? I don't think so, Scooter. That's too much. Too much, too much, too much. Much too much. Alright. There we go. Let's get around. Oh, look at that. That's going to be beautiful. We can get that intersection real close here. This burn here, this should put us right where we want to be. Less than a thousand meters. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get into position to do this burn. We're going to start the burn in 10 seconds. So I got that done just in time. And five, four, three, two, burn. Okay, let's just go ahead and burn it really slowly. Get this thing into position. There we go. Boom. Nailed it. Alright, so I'm going to do ahead my quick save there. We are going to go around to the uh, close to our uh, intersection there. I'm going to get around to the target. There's our lander. The command module, rather. It's flying around there. And... Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So now I need to go retrograde to kill our relative speeds. There we go. And there we go. Boom. And now I'm going to fly towards him. I'm going to get my rendezvous on there. At about 7 meters per second or so. Something I can handle but not be too quick, and we'll just speed up time a little bit. And let's go about 10. There we go. So we're gonna get her, get her close, kill my speed once again, and then we'll do our actual docking maneuver. We'll be back home for dinner. For Thanksgiving dinner, Tofurtsy. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and kill our relative speeds. Oh. Little too late there, buddy boy. Oh, I'm killing the relative speeds there. <laughs> Get a little bit of a contact. Luckily, my legs absorbed it. Hopefully, it didn't hurt that ship at all. Let's go ahead and set this as my target. There we go. Set as target. I'm going to switch over to him. He is going to set this as target as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and point him at the target. Billy Bob's gonna do the piloting there. Very good. Too bad he can't hold to target. That's fine. Turn on the RCS and we are going to fly towards the target here. There we go. I'm gonna turn on fine control here. 
using the caps lock key. And then we're going to get this into alignment there. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Now we're going to drift easily and lazily into our friend here. And our connection will be great and wonderful. Best connection ever. Beautiful connection. Wonderful connection. Best connection ever had. All of them. Everybody says that. Uh, best connection. Never had a connection like this. Wonderful connection. Boom. <laughs> uh, I guess you know who I'm being. Alright, so let's get out of the vessel. Baldur's going to take all of the data from that. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. He's going to let go. He's going to board. Where are you going, bro? Go back into the command module. And... Hey, 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 hey. Bro. Get back in the command module. Grab hold. Bored with all of your science, and we are now going to get rid of the lander, even though it's got plenty of fuel. Can I transfer some of that fuel over to here? Yeah. Might as well, right? Okay. Does this have fuel as well? Yes, yeah, got a little bit. We're going to use that to crash it, because we got plenty of fuel in this. So let's go ahead and decouple. And decouple, undock, let's switch over to that, we're going to use the RCS to slide out of the way here, there we go, and then we're going to kill our velocity here, to uh, just crash into the planet, I just want to make sure we don't crash into the ship here, there we go. Not going to. So let's just go ahead and crash into the planet. Preferably where no one is. There we go. I wonder if I can get one more thing of science here. Lowlands. Is this flats or greater flats? That's great flats. What else we got? Lowlands. Got that already. What else we got? Slopes? Oh, let's do slopes. Hmm. Let's see if I can get that slopes and we get one more thing of science there. Yeah, I can I can beam it beam it up. There it is. Slopes. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's go ahead and get ready for our descent here. We're gonna land on the slopes, preferably. And then just, I guess we'll just let this thing sit. I was going to let it crash, but just let it sit instead. Mm, come on down to the slopes. I mean, if it crashes, no big loss, but uh, I'm hoping for no crash. No crash, no burn. Just beautiful, wonderful landing. I don't see that we're going to make it to the slopes there, bro. We're going to hit lowlands. Looks like we're going to hit lowlands. Let's see if we can go this way just a hair. Make it to the slopes. Make it to the slopes. There you go. There you go. Wait till I get over. Oh, I'm on the slopes now. Sweet. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Oh, I missed it. That's the slopes right there. Guess it's this slope here. Stop. Okay. Skill and skill over speed again. Oh, the things I do. There we go. 
Now we're going to come straight down on the slopes. Let's kill all of our horizontal velocity. There we go. Beautiful. Let's speed up time a little. So that we come down right on the slopes. And I can send whatever data we get back. What is this? Oh, huh, mystery gear. Sweet. Okay. Here we go. Get ready and burn. Hopefully we can land on the slope. Okay. Here we go. Observe the mystery goo. Send it. Yep, transmit the data. Got that. Let's do a pressure data. Send that. And a thing there. Send that. Now I'm just going to fly straight up. And then we're going to fly into that ridge over there. And... Nice. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to see. Although I didn't really want to see it. I wanted to switch over to my other vessel, but I couldn't do it fast enough. There's all my pieces landing over there. <laughs> okay. Can I switch over now? Yes, let's go to tracking station. Okay, so now we're going to head on home. We're going to go ahead and do our burn here. And see if we can get home with minimal fanfare here. I'm not going to try to choose our landing spot. I'm just going to fly in, get caught by the atmosphere, and then land wherever we can. Alright, so. Although I've got plenty of fuel, I can choose my landing. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll choose my landing spot. Because it's, it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. We're going to choose our landing spot. Alright. We're ready to burn in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Burn. Now just watch what we got here. And see if I can bring her down to about... 70,000 or so, and we'll just, we're not going to do an aero capture at all, we'll just do 70,000, we got plenty of fuel, we'll just get ourselves into a nicer orbit, and then, uh, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and warp around to our periapsis here, warp to there, bye bye Minmus, bye bye Minmus, hello Kerbin. Alright. So Billy Bob and Balder are having a grand old time. Now Billy Bob didn't get to go on to Minmus, but he got to fly by Minmus and orbit Minmus. So that's good. In the future we'll, we'll do some missions where they uh, we land multiple people. I'm, I've got enough technology unlocked now. I think that we can do that. No problem. Alright. And let's get ready to do retrograde burn. As soon as we get into our periapsis here. And... Let's do retrograde. We're going to bring in our apoapsis to something more reasonable. Like I said, I've got plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. I've got 2,000 Delta V still. So that's fine. That's no problem. I like to over engineer my ships. That way we make sure we don't run into any problems. You never know. You never know. All right. 
Come on down, big boy. I'm, I'm screwing up my periapsis because we're too far away. That's alright. We're going to go on up to our apoapsis. And actually, we're going to try to land right here on the, on the space center. So I'm going to go ahead and do retrograde when we get to the apoapsis. And we're going to see if we can time this just right. I'm, I'm terrible at timing it just right. So, FYI. Let's go ahead and bring her down. I do need to go a little bit anti-normal or normal. First, let's maybe go to normal here. Let's try normal. Just bring it up. There you go. Good. We're overshooting, but I think... I always think that I have to undershoot more. I'm going to go ahead and keep this remaining fuel that we have. And we're going to try to bring her on in as is. Okay. Impact biome over the water, but we'll see. We're going to bring her on in. When we hit that atmo, we'll see what, what, what she does. Retrograde, please. Billy Bob. Keep us in control, Billy Bob. You know what to do. Okay. All right, we have hit Atmo. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to have to do a little more anti-normal. Just right quick. Ah! Stop! Stop! Just a little bit more normal, actually. Before we get too hot, please. Ah, it's not going to work. Not going to work. Okay. Getting too hot. Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. Call the Ghostbusters because they're in control. Let's go ahead and speed up time. We're slowing down, but not too much. Once we get close to the space center, I'm going to go ahead and blast the old engines. What is that? What is that a piece from? I don't know what that is. It's a piece of something from somewhere. Some debris, some sort. Maybe that was from our launch. I don't know. Okay. We're coming in. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even do any engine burns and we still brought her in too close. Okay, well. I guess I'll go ahead and detach it. Bye bye. Another failed landing on the space center. <laughs> I'm awful. I'm the worst at timing it. The worst. The absolute worst. Like, there's no one worse than me. I'm the worst. I'm, I'm literally the worst. So, you know. That's that. I'm gonna come on down here. Let's see when we can land. Preferably without hitting the mountains or something. We're gonna get, ooh, they're in highlands. We can get a little bit of extra stiff. So we're gonna pop the shooter a little late. There we go. That way we don't have to wait too long to get down to the ground. Okay. Got a little bit of extra science. 
flying over the highlands. And let her drop down. We're probably going to do a little bit of sliding when we hit the ground. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, good. Anything else we can get from here? Nope. Let's go ahead and do an EVA. Billy Bob, do another EVA. Nope, nothing from there. Uh, but we can't take a surface sample. I'll keep that. And we are going to recover the vessel. A successful mission to Minmus. Let's see how much science we've got from this little deal. We got 308 from our second mission to Minmus. Which should have been our first mission, but it was our second mission. So there we go. And Billy Bob and Balder are now level 2. Awesome. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, hit that like button. Have a happy Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Kerbals way by the window Vaguely looking down at their song And hoping possibly Jebediah will come home with some rock From Minmus or the moon May Crowds gather as high